Hi guys, today we will be exploring the question, how does oceanic crust get trusted on top of continents? Before we begin, here's a geology meme of the day. Do you guys think it's true? Drop a comment below and let me know. As most of us know, the earth crust can be characterized into two different types, the more silica-rich, less dense, continental crust, as well as the less silica-rich, denser, oceanic crust. The oceanic crust, as its name suggests, lies in the bottom of the ocean. So, have you ever wondered, how do geologists study the oceanic crust? As it turns out, the answer is ophiolite obduction. Ophiolites are on-land remnants of the oceanic lithosphere that is uplifted and emplaced above the continental crust in a process called obduction. While the most common thing people associate with ophiolites is this classic stratigraphic sequence as seen on the screen here. What we often see in real life are ophiolites occurring in melange, which are large-scale brushes commonly found in mountain ranges. It is key to note that, while the environment of formation of ophiolites have been disputed, it is widely accepted that ophiolites were once part of the oceanic lithosphere. Obduction is the overtrusting of continental crust by oceanic crust or mantle at a convergent plate boundary. Note that obduction is different from subduction. In subduction, the oceanic crust is subducted beneath the continental crust into the Earth's mantle, whereas in obduction, the oceanic crust is trusted above the continental crust. The process of abduction is very complex and not well understood. Over the years, geologists have theorized multiple mechanisms in which ophiolites can get abducted, and today we will be talking about two cases here. It is more important to understand that abduction is a process that occurs because of plate tectonics, and the different mechanisms are a result of the geometry of plate motion in the region. So now, let us talk about the first abduction mechanism, upwerging in subduction zones. This process can occur beneath and behind the inner walls of subduction zones. Take for example this sketch over here. We have compressional forces acting this way and this way, and the oceanic crust is being subducted here. Seismic studies have been done to show that while the oceanic crust is subducting, the upper part of the plate, where it bends and descends, can experience tensional stress. This can weaken the oceanic crust and mantle, causing them to break off. Because of the high pressure, these pieces of oceanic rocks are then incorporated or wedged into melange sequences in the overriding plate. Due to compressive forces, these melanges are then forced upwards, hence the term upwedging. The Franciscan complex in California is believed to have originated this way. What we see in the Franciscan complex are melange that contain eclogites and blue schists, which are subduction related metamorphic rocks. And these melange sequences also contain rocks like basalt, chert, serpentine, which geologists believe to be ophiolites. Next, let us move on to the second abduction mechanism compressional telescoping onto Atlantic type continental margin. This term might sound pretty complex. But let us break it down as we move along. This sort of abduction process might take place when the subduction zone and continental margin follows the type of geometry as seen here. The term Atlantic type continental margin refers to a passive continental margin, which is a stable continental plate with relatively little earthquakes. In this case, the left hand side is the Atlantic type continental margin and we will call this continental margin A. And what we see at the end of this plate is an oceanic crust. And we will also call, we will call the oceanic crust on the right hand side B. Now, we will consider compressional forces at work pushing A and B towards each other. And also, there is a subduction zone in the middle here, between two oceanic crusts. Note that at this point, the subduction is not between the continental margin and the oceanic plate. And the oceanic crust on A side is being subducted beneath the oceanic crust on B side. Over time, as more of A's oceanic crust gets swallowed, the continental margin of A will approach B. 
and eventually what will happen is um, this is the A plate and this is the B plate is that a giant piece of oceanic crust from B will be pushed across and over the continental margin in A and this is how obduction occurs however this is not necessarily the end of the story since the continental crust is significantly less dense than the oceanic crust what we might see over time is a flip in subduction polarity where the denser oceanic B plate is now subducted beneath the continental plate which is A resulting in the formation of a volcanic arc So what this use is a unique arrangement of tectonic and stratigraphic units with something like continental crust overlain with continental rice sediments and then the ophiolites and potentially, but not always, subduction related volcanics and then moving laterally trenchwards we would expect to see subduction related metamorphic rocks like blue shales and also ophiolite bearing melange formed by the upwedging process described earlier and in fact this general sequence is what we observe in the coastal complex in Newfoundland Canada right now I hope this video offers a good introduction regarding ophiolite abduction processes if the debate about ophiolite abduction tells us anything it is that in geology things are extremely complex and we should never assume that there's only one correct answer to a problem Ophiolite abduction is an important process for geologists because 1. It allows us to study what is going on in the ocean floor, which is an otherwise inaccessible and expensive method. Its uniqueness as a geological landform can help us reconstruct the geological history of a region. And thirdly, which I also thought that was the most important one, is that it tells us that pectatonic processes back then is the same as the pectatonics we know today. In fact, the study of ophiolite abduction is one of the main proponents of pectatonics theory. I hope you guys learned something from this video. And if you are keen on learning more, do drop a like below and see you guys in another video soon.